Hi guys, it's Peter Apt here from Teaching with the iPad. Today we're going to have a look at how to create some 2D shapes in Minecraft PE. So I'll begin by saying this is a, a creative flat world um, and this is a really good world to have uh, when you're sort of starting out, especially for any sort of educational content because it gives you a nice um, clean surface to work on and it's really easy then to take photos of the, of the learning content that the students have created. So I'm going to begin by selecting um, a few blocks um, that we're going to need to, to create these 2D shapes. So I'll go down to the, uh, the three dots on the end of the hotbar and to get to our inventory. And I'm going to go to the construction tab on the top left and I'm going to select a couple of these uh, colour blocks here. Now with a lot of the stuff we do, uh, especially in maths in, in Minecraft, we're not necessarily interested in the properties of the, the block, it's more the colour uh, for this purpose. Uh, and also too, the fact you'll notice all of those blocks have an edge as well, which makes it really easy to count. I'm also going to go into the nature um, tab and select a grass block, which allows us to patch up uh, any grass areas that we might accidentally uh, dig. So let's go and have, have a look here now. And what I'm going to select is this green block first. Now before I start building, often you can build these shapes um, vertically, but I sort of find it's better easy to, to build them on the ground. So I'm actually gonna go up and then go down, tilt down like that. And go up a little bit further, I think, there we go. And you'll notice that if I place a block there, um, it, it works quite well, but if I go up a bit higher, it doesn't place. So that's just one little thing to be conscious of. Now, when I place a second block there, you'll notice how you can see the individual blocks, and that's really important, I think, because it allows students to count the blocks very easily. And so, for example, if they are making a square, obviously we've got six blocks across, and that allows us then to then go six blocks up that way. So you can see very quickly, we can go in and create our square. And you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've counted both sides, and so the student can very easily check that it's a square. So those uh, those blocks with the edges are really, really handy to do. So let's now have a look at some of the other 2D shapes uh, we can make for this project. So there's our rectangle, triangle, our pentagon. Now you notice with the pentagon, I've actually created on the side. So if you do that diagonal line to begin with, it makes it really easy then to get the angle for the, the pentagon. There's our hexagon. And obviously some of the shapes uh, aren't gonna be perfect, um, but by doing things like this, our circle obviously, and you can, obviously I've used the torches just to fill in the corners and may make a more of a circular shape. You're certainly going to get the idea and, and, and from the student's point of view, you can represent those shapes relatively accurately. Go a bit high, there's our kite. And the other point I, I want to make here too, for example, here's our, our um, octagon, is that you don't need to do um, solid shapes. You can just do an outline, especially on the, the shapes that might be bigger. I often find if you make them a bit bigger, they're actually um, are more true to the actual um, shape uh, that you would see in the real world. So that's a, a little tip as well. So there's a few things um, that you just need to know about using or uh, creating 2D shapes in Minecraft. Um, I do have uh, a pages template that, that goes with this project and I'll put a link to that um, in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's 2D shapes in Minecraft.